Hi, it's Stacy. Welcome to Imagination Station. I'm Stacy, one of the naturalists at Tamarack Nature Center, part of Ramsey County Parks and Rec. Well, since it's Imagination Week, Imagination Station, we wanted to get our imagination going. And one way we do that is by reading some good books. So what we did was we called our friend, our partner friend, Andrea, over at the Ramsey County Library to get some book ideas. And she had plenty of good ones. But she's been busy, so you know what she did? She contacted one of her library fairies to come here and read one of her favorite books to you. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Blossom and I am a library fairy. And my clan of fairies sent me here today to share a book with you. And I'm reading this book today with generous permission from Penguin Random House Publishing. So I'd like to invite you to use your imagination and come with me into this book, Backyard Fairies by Phoebe Wall. Have you ever found while out on your own a tiny magical somebody's home? Or sensed a fluttering, flickering flight, gone when you turn just out of sight? Or heard a little trill or tone? Or seen a suspicious looking stone? Maybe one morning you wake up to see that the dog's hair was braided by somebody we. You might leave an offering and then you discover it's vanished by morning, replaced by another. Have you ever woke up when the moon is round and crept out of bed to follow a sound? Of what must be the music of magical sprites, singing and strumming and dancing all night? And you wind through a forest of branches and brambles. The woods are awake, making way for your rambles. Where are they? Can you see they're underground? You search and you search till you just can't see straight only turning back home when the hour grows late. Are they out there, you wonder, curled up in your bed? The fairy's reply is right on your head. Maybe you may wonder, are they out there? And I think I hear a little rustling in the grass too. Let's go see. Well, oh, hey there. How are you doing? By golly, would you like to take a walk with me? I brought my imagination. You can come along, but only if you brought your good imagination. Because I'm imagining that I'm small. As small as an acorn. And look at here. <gasps> My goodness, there's a deer. It's as big as an elephant. And look who's riding on its back. There's a fairy. Whoa. That's amazing. Will you walk with me? Let's see what else we can find. I 
hope it's not dangerous or anything. Oh, there's a dragonfly. It's so big, it's like prehistoric ones. I hope it doesn't think we're mosquitoes. What do we have here? <gasps> Turkey feathers. But they're ginormous. And there seems to be a stick and a horn. But that stick's not just any stick. It's a pet stick. Do you ever take things like sticks or rocks and turn them into things? I mean, you need your imagination for it, that's for sure. What's, what? Oh, I thought I heard some gnawing. <laughs> There's a giant beaver. Be lucky there were not trees. You'll never know what we find around the next bend and corner. What do we have here? <gasps> My golly. It looks like a pet hospital. Good job, gnomes. Keep up the good work. Taking care of all these animals. Think they're orphaned or injured? Nobody knows. Let's see who goes next. Do you smell something? I smell smoke. What could it be coming from? I hope there's not a fire. What's... It's a campfire. But not just any campfire. It's a fairy campfire. And they invited their forest animal friends. They brought along their raccoon. And they brought along the chipmunk and even, by golly, a dinosaur. Did you hear peeping? There's a bird nesting. A chick hatched out. You better be, we don't want to scare it away. I bet mom or dad might come back and give it some food. Oh, what do we have here? <gasps> Yikes! It's a giant crikey! It's a giant brain mantis! Yikes! And it's... <gasps> oh no! Guys, keep climbing! You can do it. The fairies better escape. Looks like they're good climbers. We better get out of here. Hurry up. I'll be very quiet. Somebody's resting. There's an owlet and a little fairy or nope sleeping in an owl. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Did you see? I see, I think I see some flowers. There's some flowers over here. Let's see what's blooming. I wonder if there are any flower fairies. Oh, looks like there's a flower fairy. Making sure not everybody picks the flowers, because golly, we need them out there for nature, the pollinators. Did you hear something else? I'm a little... What do we... <gasps> there's a giant! Oh no! I'm frozen. I can't move. Einstein once said that imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, but imagination encompasses the entire world. How do you use your imagination? Maybe you have created something from objects that you have found in your house or in your yard. Have you ever found something and you didn't know what it was, so you made up a story about it? Maybe you've created a creature or imagined a monster, or enter the magical world of fairies. How did people come up with the idea for a car or an airplane? Imagination. How do you solve problems? You use your imagination. Your imagination can take you in so many different directions. Join us this week as we let our imaginations take us on a journey to discover some amazing and fun activities.